Hey everybody, I'm Courtney from Butter For All, and today I'm going to show you how I shape my soft and chewy sourdough burger buns. So this is the dough, and it has been resting overnight. Um, I actually made it yesterday, and it, it can either ferment overnight at room temperature, or it can ferment during the day, um, go into the refrigerator overnight, and come back out and come to room temperature, which is what I've done here, um, just to make sure that I have the timing right. So anyway, this is the dough, mixed and ready to be shaped. So I'm gonna grab some water and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a little cup of water and I need this because I need to, to wet my fingers a little bit. This dough is pretty sticky, but a good way to, to um, touch it and to handle it is to have the, uh, just damp fingers where the dough doesn't stick. So I'm gonna just do one really light stretch and fold all the way around the bowl. And this is just deflating the dough just a little bit to make it easier to work with and get it ready. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flour my board lightly. We don't want a whole lot of extra flour. And I'm gonna turn this dough out seam side down on this floured surface. Okay, so I'm gonna actually get a little bit of flour and just lightly sprinkle it on this dough just to make it so I can handle it. You could use water um, if you wanted, but I, for this particular recipe, I like to have just a little light coating of flour. Now I wanna make eight buns. So I'm gonna cut this dough in half and in half again, and in half again, making eight even pieces. Okay, I've got my dough divided into eight pieces. Um, and I'm not gonna overwork these at all. I'm gonna handle them very lightly. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour here in the middle. I'll move these guys out of the way so you can see it here. They're sticky. So just a little bit of flour to keep them from sticking too much to the board. Okay, here's my little piece of dough and pulling from the top, I'm gonna push toward the center and then do a turn. You're gonna go around was four, five, six, seven or eight times. And then you're gonna flip it over on its seam and stretch it with your hands. You're pulling down toward the board, creating tension across the surface of the ball. And there's a perfect little bun. Now this guy is gonna go onto this pan Okay, so I'm gonna finish shaping these. Again, you're just going around the circle until you've pulled the center to the middle enough times to make a nice little tight ball. Now create that tension across the top, a little bit of flour on the bottom, and onto the, the parchment paper. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Flip it, roll it, and I'm pushing down at an angle using my hands to pull the tension across the top of that dough ball. Once it's nice and, and smooth, right onto the parchment paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, this one's gonna take a few more because it's a little bit fluffy. There was still some air in that one and that's fine. You can leave those pockets of air. You don't want it completely deflated. If it's completely deflated, you're gonna have a pretty dense bun. So there we go. 
That's a big one. That one will be for daddy. Okay. Three, four, five. It's got a little too much flour. Six, seven, eight. This one's going to take an extra one too. Nine. Another big bun. This one's for mommy. Okay. space here for these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and flip it and roll. Okay, now on this last one, I'm going to give you guys a close up. Okay, ready to see the close up? Toward the middle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I got a little bubble, I'm just gonna pop it. Pop. Now flip it over on its seam and use your hands to push down toward the board gently but with enough pressure that you're creating some good tension across the top of the dough ball. Now flour that bottom a little bit and put it right on the pan. Okay, I've got my dough balls made. I have them sitting on a piece of parchment paper on a pan that's turned upside down so that I can easily slide them off onto a preheated baking stone when it's time. So the baking stone is gonna be in the oven preheating and this is gonna be on the pan proofing. And when they've doubled, I'm gonna come back and show you how I do the egg wash on them. And then I'm gonna put them in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they're done baking. Hey you guys, I'm back. My buns have more than doubled in size. Um, it's been a few hours and they've been proofing at room temperature and they look ready to bake. So I have an egg wash right here. This can be an egg yolk and water or egg yolk and a little bit of milk. Um, and you just wanna lightly brush this onto the buns. You don't want a, a heavy coating. It's just enough to keep that outer um, crust from uh, getting hard quickly. You wanna keep it soft and, and so that the bun will expand. It also is a great way to stick those sesame seeds on. So I'm just gonna paint each one with some egg wash. And get a nice thin coating on each bun. This will help the, the bun get that beautiful golden brown color as well but mainly it keeps that crust nice and soft so that it can expand in the oven. If you don't put an egg wash on, it'll, you'll get a dry, crusty crust. These. Okay, a couple more here. I'm not gonna deflate them at all by pressing down on them very hard, just being really gentle with the egg wash. So I don't want to lose any of that nice air inside the bun. Okay, and then I have my sesame seeds here. This is just gonna give them the classic burger look. And just a little sprinkle of sesame seeds on the top of each bun is really all you need. They toast in the oven and give it a little bit of flavor also, which is kind of nice. Okay, so my buns are ready to be baked. I'm gonna slide them right off of this pan uh, with the parchment right onto the baking stone that's in the oven, preheated at 375 degrees, and they're gonna bake for about 25 to 30 minutes, and I'm gonna come back and show you what they look like when they're done. So stay tuned. Hi. 
Hi, I'm back and I just pulled the buns from the oven. I took them off the baking stone and I have them uh, cooling on a wire rack and I'm actually just gonna slip the parchment out from underneath them so that the bo bottoms don't get soggy. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of loosen it up and just slip this piece of parchment right out of there. And I'm gonna let those buns cool down all the way before I slice into them. So they look great, they're nice and soft, and I'll be back to slice one open and we'll take a look at the inside. See you soon. Hey there, I'm back. My buns have cooled and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into one and we're gonna see what it looks like. So at this point, once they're completely cool, you can um, break them apart if they're stuck together. And I love the way that looks, that soft spot where they've been touching. Um, just really looks like kind of a classic hamburger bun. And you can see these are nice and soft. This is the big guy. Very nice, you know, they're just still a little touch warm. So I'm gonna cut one of these ones from the outside and carefully. Ooh, they're so soft, they're hard to cut. Oh my goodness. It's very, very soft. Oh yeah, very nice. Soft and chewy for sure. So a classic sourdough burger bun, soft and chewy bun, perfect for burgers. We're gonna grill up some burgers tonight. I've got my bacon and my avocado ready and we're gonna have a feast. So I hope you guys all join me again on YouTube and check out my other videos on sourdough and I hope you'll get a chance to make these sourdough burger buns for your family or your friends and then let me know how they turn out. Okay, thanks so much. Please subscribe.